Hi, I'm Michael Correa, and this is Psych Exam Review. This is a practice question video where we'll look at 10 practice multiple choice questions related to theories of emotion and motivation. And before we get to the questions, just a quick reminder that you want to always try to come up with your own answer first. So I'll pause after I read the question and before I show the multiple choice options. And you want to use this time to try to think of answers on your own. And you might want to pause the video if you need a little more time to do that. And then you can use the multiple choice answers to help guide you. Hopefully you already have a sense of what you're looking for and some possible answers that you might expect to see. And finally, make sure that you also review any other unfamiliar terms that appear in the question, in the incorrect answer choices, or in the explanations. So let's begin. In the James Langa theory of emotion, emotional experiences are considered to be primarily the result of physiological arousal, cognitive appraisal, behavioral conditioning, secondary drives, social influence. And this would be A, physiological arousal. The James Lange theory of emotion suggests that environmental stimuli cause physiological arousal, which then leads to emotional experience. The idea people are motivated to maximize pleasure and minimize pain is known as drive reduction theory, self-actualization, the yerkes dodson law, the opponent process theory of motivation, the hedonic principle. And this is E, the hedonic principle. The hedonic principle provides a basic approach to motivation. We seek pleasure and avoid pain. Of course, motivation is much more complicated. Since he started getting paid to perform, Reggie feels his intrinsic enjoyment of playing music has decreased. This may be an example of delay of gratification, cognitive reappraisal, drive reduction theory, the overjustification effect, approach avoidance conflict. And this would be D, the overjustification effect. The overjustification effect suggests that extrinsic rewards can undermine intrinsic motivation and reduce one's natural enjoyment of a behavior. Which of the following is not one of the four stages of William Masters and Virginia Johnson's human sexual response cycle? Excitement, refractory period, orgasm, resolution, plateau. And this would be B, refractory period. While Masters and Johnson noted that men experienced refractory periods and women did not, it is not one of the four stages of the human sexual response cycle. Which theory of emotion proposes that emotional experience results from a combination of cognitive appraisal and physiological arousal? James Lange theory, Cannon Bard theory, Schachter Singer two factor theory, dual process theory. The facial feedback hypothesis. And this would be C, Schachter Singer two factor theory. Two factor theory proposed that emotional experiences depend on both physiological arousal and our cognitive interpretation of the arousal based on context. Which of the following is a hormone that stimulates hunger and is produced by the stomach? Orexin, ghrelin, leptin, serotonin, insulin. And this would be B, ghrelin. Ghrelin is an orexigenic or appetite generating hormone that is produced in the stomach. A simple mnemonic to help remember this is to think of your stomach growling when hungry. According to Paul Ekman's research, which of the following is not a basic emotion? Joy, envy, 
fear, disgust, surprise. And this would be B, envy. Paul Ekman did not include envy as one of the basic emotions that he believed to have universal expression across cultures. He identified six basic emotions, joy, anger, sadness, fear, surprise, and disgust. And he later added a seventh, contempt. Drive reduction theory suggests that an important motivation for behavior is to increase physiological arousal, balance levels of challenge and skill, maintain a state of homeostasis, avoid negative emotions, experience a flow state. And this would be C, maintain a state of homeostasis. Drive reduction theory suggests that when we depart from a state of homeostasis, this creates a drive, such as the hunger drive, which motivates behavior that will reduce the drive, such as eating, and thus restore homeostasis. Which of the following brain areas is most associated with the low road or fast pathway of emotional processing? The amygdala, the hippocampus, the prefrontal cortex, the corpus callosum, the temporal lobe. And this would be A, the amygdala. The low road or fast pathway for emotion leads more directly to the amygdala for an immediate emotional response, which may then be overridden by the slow pathway involving the cortex. Josh meets Stacy while waiting in line for a roller coaster. He feels strongly attracted to her. His heart is racing and his palms are sweaty as he talks to her. It's possible Josh is actually experiencing set point theory, arousal theory, approach approach conflict, misattribution of arousal, a frontal lobotomy. And this would be D, misattribution of arousal. Misattribution of arousal refers to mislabeling an emotional experience by attributing the physiological arousal to an incorrect source, such as Josh believing Stacy is the source of his racing heartbeat and sweaty palms, rather than the impending thrill ride. Okay, so that's the end of these questions. I hope you did well. I also hope that they challenged you. Make sure that you review any terms that were difficult or unfamiliar and share any questions or suggestions that you have in the comments. Thanks for watching.